I told the bride she looked like an escort, but what she did was way worse. There's not many things that you could say that would insult a bride more. Very few things. My family and I are from Albania, but we live in the US. Now, my cousin David got married to his wife, Lizzie, this weekend. In Albania, we always go all out for weddings, and David wanted to keep many cultural traditions. The wife-to-be, Lizzie, hated that idea. She hated it? Lizzie, the Albanian tradition <laughs> hater, had sent out invites via mail and also had some rules written down, as in no kids allowed, mm. black tie dress code, and absolutely no plus ones unless both the bride and groom approved of it. Yeah, I mean, like, getting a plus one to there would be pretty tough. Now, I am engaged to and- To be married? To be married. Uh, and I thought that my fiance would be included, but David said Lizzie is against plus ones. At all? In a wedding? His wife-to-be does not want it. Now, I said that even if Lizzie is against it, my fiance has been in the family for years, way longer than his bride Lizzie has been around. Lizzie got nothing, baby. Plus, he's a friend of David's as well, and he could come as a friend, not as my plus one. David was frustrated, and he said that Lizzie has set down most of the rules, and whenever he goes against her, she just gets mad, so we should cut him some slack and just bear it for his sake. I mean, it is their wedding. They can kind of set the rules though that is that you know that is that is kind of true but i mean but i think like you know he like, should be pushing back a little like if it's people he the groom really wants to invite he should be yeah Come. yeah well yeah i said well, if, yeah, if, if the groom really wants that person yeah if the groom really wants it but it is like what's their budget like there's a lot of considerations but it does sound like it's just the the bride's just being an just being super formal yeah, yeah i don't know i feel like like if you're gonna keep doing that you're just gonna get super isolated i thought it was ridiculous how how he didn't stand up for himself, but all of the Albanian side of the family, my side, was side-eyeing the fact that the wedding was kid-free because we are used to involving the kids at the weddings. But the bride and her side of the family refused to make any compromises about it and show any respect to David and his wishes. Wait, so... She says she wants a traditional wedding, but she's not including kids. David wanted the traditions. She uh, wanted her way. Uh, That's okay. basically where we're at. But again, none of our business, despite our frustration. Now, despite the black dress code, and this is where it gets weird and what I was talking about earlier, most of the bride's family turns up in jeans, flannel shirts, and the women's just wear casual maxi dresses. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. The bride and her family were the ones that dictated the dress code, and they show up out of the dress code. Yeah, that's a classic Albanian switcheroo. <laughs> and then, this is hilarious, our side of the family dressed more formal. So instead of doing their more traditional stuff, they adhered to the bride's family's dress code, but the bride's family didn't. It's no, crazy. The bride's family seems like a bunch of poo-poo heads. And the bride just wore a knee-length lace dress from H&M. What? Like, how are you going to say this is a black tie wedding and have a dress from H&M? That is unacceptable. Is it even white? It was white, but like from H and M. From H and M, yeah. It's it's it was originally had like a ten foot tail, but she she dried it yeah. once, and now it's knee length. The reception took place in a cabin by the lake, which had animal head trophies hanging on the walls. Animal head trophies. Every time the DJ tried to play some traditional Balkan music, the bride's family would get up and get him to change it. I mean, they're missing out on classics yeah, like classics <laughs> like the national anthem of Albania. So there's the Cupid shuffle, and then there's that. <laughs> the bride also made a big deal out of the fact that we were dressed more formal and how we overdid it and upstaged her. Yo. When she asked for black tie. Do you know what black tie is? Dude. Insanity. She doesn't She doesn't have that Albanian class. Exactly. And she kept complaining about it all night long and was throwing tantrums to David about how we as his family are very disrespectful. You can say a lot of shit about an Albanian family, mm -hmm. but one thing you can never say is they're disrespectful. The bride Lizzie also implied that David's sister looked like a high-end escort with her outfit, but David's sister tried to keep it together for David's sake. Yikes. Man. This I, wedding is not going well. It's it's an absolute mess. After constant insults thrown around all night long, I told her to just chill out. Chillax, baby girl. She said that she won't chill because we disrespected her. Mm. 
I told her, first of all, if she was scared she was going to be upstaged, she shouldn't have requested black tie dress code. And secondly, to be honest, it was not going to be hard to upstage her. I've seen grandma dresses fancier than the one she was wearing. So she is Sheesh. underdressing for her own wedding, which is supposed to be a black tie event. Yo, that was a big clap back. Yikes. David's entire family sided with me, but David said that I'm an a-hole for speaking speaking to the bride like that on the wedding day. I told him that if the bride requires kindness, she should start within herself. Am I the a-hole? I mean, that's that's like the loss of, of her sense of dignity after she was upstaged with the wedding dress. You oh, know? oh, for, for, sure, <laughs> for sure. This wife's family should separate from this husband's family because, you know, this is like oil and water. That's right. This lady is an idiot. If you thought this bride was crazy, check out this one. She kicked out her own bridesmaid for not wanting to wear the dress. 